Okay, so someone in Cricut for Beginners needs to put a white background behind this car and didn't know how to do it, so I suggested making an offset and she didn't know how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to grab a screenshot of this. so that I can have the image to work with. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to upload that image, which I've already got here because I practiced on it. So I'm just going to select it to add it to my, well, actually I'm going to show you how I uploaded it so that you can see how that's done, of course. I'm going to browse for my image to where I saved it, which is under my temp folder. I'm going to click open. I'm going to choose complex and click continue. I'm going to click the remove background button. That's going to remove everything except the black car. I'll click apply and continue. Then I'm going to save this as a cut image and upload. So here's this image. Now I'm clicking it so that it's selected. I'm going to remove that one and then I'm going to click Add to Canvas. So it brings it in very big so I'm just going to make it a bit smaller so you can see what I'm doing. If I click away from it you're going to see that there's this dot over here that didn't clean up very well. So I'm going to go back and do that again so you can see how to clean that up. Clicking upload image, I'm browsing. Getting the image. I'm choosing complex clicking continue. I'm going to remove the background. And I can see that little bit of white here. If I zoom in, you'll see it better. See right over here. Whoops, where's my mouse? Right over here. So I'm going to use the eraser. And I'm just going to click on that. And you can see that that has disappeared now. Then I'll click Apply and Continue. Save it as my cut image. Click the item to select it and add it to my canvas. I'll make this a bit smaller again. Now you see when I click away from it, that black spot is gone. So I'm going to click this to select it, and then I'm just going to click the offset button. You'll see that it shows you a line around the image, as well as inside the image. And there's only a couple here. So you can change the size of this, or the width of it, to be as wide as you like. Or to make it not as wide. You can have it just touching the edge or you can have it going past the edge. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to put it right there in the center so that it's just at the edge of the image and I'm going to click apply. I'm going to change the color of that. I'm going to pull away the car actually and you'll see that this gray part is underneath. So I'm going to change that color to something brighter that you can see more easily. And to get rid of everything in the middle here, I'm going to click contour down at the bottom right over here. And once it's ready, I'm going to click hide all contours and then I'll click the X here to get out of here. Now I don't see why I didn't do that. Let me go back. 
it did do it, it just took it a second. Okay, so I'm just going to X out because it did actually do it. Now, because I made that line so close to the edge, you have all these interior lines. So if you don't want that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to make the offset a little bit larger than it was. You can see now that the line is past the image. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to change the color so you can see it better. And I'm going to pull the black car away. I'm going to select the offset. Down at the bottom right, I'm going to click contour. I'm clicking hide all contours. Yours should work a bit faster than mine. My poor Mac is getting quite old. And there you have it. And so then you can have that as a separate layer and place this image on top. And then you'll have a separate different color underneath. Hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.